Hello, Buzz Calls! Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we have been working on a setup for this uh, hydrogen geyser uh, to uh, uh, enable a setup where the hydrogen is cool mm. enough. Uh, maybe if you dig that out that would help um, to get the hydrogen to low enough temperatures so we can pump it out and uh, into a hydrogen generator but seeing that temperatures around here are quite low it's a bit difficult um, uh, with a cooling setup, we cannot use water, we cannot even use uh, a raw oil, crude oil, because it's still too cold. What we can use is uh, petroleum, and for that, uh, we created a setup here and also hooked up a, a petroleum generator. However, as you can see, we do have a slight issue here because this one uh, also generates polluted water, uh, which runs in here. So that's uh, probably not something that that we that we want. Um, but uh, maybe uh, let's mop this part up and um, let's think about if we can somehow could we move that generator to here i think that would work uh, then of course we need uh, these tiles and we need a pipe um, let's use this Once everything is in place, we can uh, uh, remove this one. Right. Because I think the, the hydrogen generator uh, that generates... Um, uh, how much power? 800 watt. We do have a few coal generators. Uh, so coal is going down uh, we have no gas generators these three they are enough for our base uh, a gas generator produces also 800 so actually we would need to have uh, three hydrogen generators hooked up to this one but of course here we eventually will have the same problem where the geyser ge goes dormant and uh, no more hydrogen and probably this one will not um, uh, spit out enough so that we can actually power three hydrogen generators but we might want to do is having a bit of uh, of a tank storage just in case uh, it produces more than uh, we can we can readily use
probably need to dig that away. But then we should be okay. With all the pipe here now completed, I think we need a bit of uh, automation wiring to one of the of the batteries, um, so we can actually control the generator to turn on and off, so we do not waste petroleum, because down here this leaky leaky fissure. That's not really producing large amounts. So we have to ensure that we use it wisely. And I have also turned this one off uh, because uh, our petroleum pool down here run out and we still have not managed to fill this basin up here um, so i think we are about halfway on the second layer uh, and we need three layers of uh, petroleum before we can cap it off with uh, some more metal tiles we do have a bit of, of natural gas here, but I don't think it's worthwhile to pump that gas uh, all the way up here to store it. But maybe we could use it for cooking. So. Let's add a pump here. And we probably also need a filter. And that's where that goes. And then let's just put that over here. And I was thinking that we could place a stove if we had researched it. Have we not? Where is it? There. No. Let's do a bit more uh, research. Then we can replace maybe a few of the storage bins with a uh, gas oven. Uh, and of course. We will probably need uh, uh, let's let's not make that out of iron. Let's use gold because we do have a gold volcano. Gold. And this get up there. Then the filter we have to set it up. It's unbreathable gas and natural gas. We have our first plastic here from a glossy. A Draco. Uh, so we need plastic for uh, nicer beds, but 
also for uh, for the uh, other vents uh, the high pressure vent um, so I think we will switch this one out with a high pressure vent because uh, when these generators were running the gas pressure was always an, uh, an issue here and by the looks of it we are running a bit low on, on power there's uh, only one generator there is running let's put the vent in here and then I think um, also got our gas range here oh, it looks like we have to get rid of three cabinets in order for us to place the grill and that will create a bit of a mess on the floor wiring let's take it from here and not from the one below because that one I think has already quite a bit of uh, load on it and then we can connect the gas if we look up here it's slow going as you can see um, we are at 550 kilograms per tile petroleum on this level and uh, we need to get to 740 before we uh, uh, can fill up the third level all right we have our gas range uh, so let's see what res recipes we can do um, looks like for all of them we are at least missing something However, let's queue all of these up, should we come across any of those. This is probably something we might manage sometime, because we can make barbecue. Uh, and if we come across some uh, fish, uh, that should also be feasible. I don't expect too much cooking uh, going on there. And let's have another look up here before we end the episode. We are nearing the 600 kilogram uh, limit or mark and down here I have restructured a bit ladder here on this side so we can avoid water dripping down here because that um, uh, causes an issue with the oil refinery uh, if we get water in there uh, that's not something that we want to have and then of course the wire is or the, the, the pipe to the other petroleum 
pump is still not connected. Actually, we should deconstruct this one. Um, because um, we need the petroleum here in this basin first. Um, so we can actually make the progress up here with this farm so that means we will have some more hopefully some more progress in the next episode until then goodbye